Hi there everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be covering a watch that I have reviewed previously and I've done a couple of different versions of it and I mentioned it recently in the video where we looked at building a watch collection that if it were actually the real versions would be worth in excess of $85,000 there or thereabouts and it is the Pagani Design uh, Daytona. Now, I uh, ordered two versions. I ordered the black dial version and I also ordered the white dial version, both on the steel oyster bracelet, so we could take a look at them. So this video, uh, basically just to take a look at these two watches and uh, I'll give you my opinion on why I think they're such good value. And uh, like I say, keen to hear what you guys think about these watches. So please, if you do have any comments, put them in the section below. Love them, hate them, just let me know. All right, guys, well, let's get into the video. So we'll start things with dimensions as usual. You have a 39 mil case diameter, 48.5 mils from top lug to bottom lug, 12 mil case thickness, and you also have those 20 mil lugs. Of course, with this being a Pagani, it is a homage to the Rolex Daytona. So from an exterior perspective, it does look very much like the Daytona, but inside is vastly different. Inside this Pagani PD1644, you have a Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. Now, I've spoken to you guys previously about my dislike of uh, chronographs where you don't actually have a central seconds running hand, but the VK64 movement does provide that. And uh, more to the point, also provides a very similar feel to a mechanical chronograph when you press the reset button. So it does actually instantaneously go back to the 12 o'clock position. So protecting the dial, you do have that flat sapphire crystal. It has got a nice beveled edge on the side of it, uh, but it doesn't have an anti-reflective coating. But don't fear, I haven't found it to be too much of an issue in terms of legibility. You also have the ceramic bezel there, a uh, black ceramic bezel, regardless of which dial colorway you go for. Again, you have that central seconds running hand and the triple subdial configuration. So just to run those uh, through with you, on the left dial, you have the minutes, so up to 60 minutes. On the right hand side, you have the uh, time of day designation, so 24 hours. And then at the six o'clock position, that third subdial is a running seconds. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Again, to reiterate, it is a 39 mil case, excluding those crowns. So it fits pretty well. And the shape of the actual case with it sort of going down, tapering, uh, does make it fit very, very well. The watch case is made out of 316L stainless steel. It uh, is very nice in terms of its polishing and general finishing. There's no rough edges or anything like that. It does also have a signed crown and uh, those screw down pushers. Looking at the bracelet, you do have a two-tone, so brushed on the outer and then a uh, polish on the inner. And you do have that Rolex style um, flip lock bracelet, although it does not come with a glide lock. So just be aware of that. At the rear of the watch do have solid end links and a screw down case back which further reinforces that 100 meters of water resistance. One negative to point out is, and this is common across most Paganis, is the loom is diabolical, so don't expect this to be legible in uh, low light situations. In terms of pricing though, uh, you are looking at there or thereabouts, I think about 108 Australian, uh, which is, I don't know, maybe 65, 70 in the US, so pretty good. And uh, like I say, I've always bought mine from this place, Pagani Design Flagship Store, so guys, uh, I would recommend using these guys uh, they are very reliable. Again, just a little bit more footage there showing you the white and black dial versions. But overall, very good watch for the price point. And certainly, if you like that Daytona look, it's something that you should look into. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a, uh, a good weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in a new video soon. Take care.